a turnaround is a little bit about correcting um, someone else's errors. And th this is not your first turnaround um, challenge at WeWork. What, what does a leader need in a turnaround situation that is different from maintenance uh, operations? Um, hard for me to, you know, again, I was put into a position early in my career uh, when I got into real estate in 1989, you know, I was confronted with the 1991 recession. Uh, and uh, I worked for a much smaller company than for a city at the time. And I was thrust into renegotiating with the banks. Uh, so effectively, you know, I, 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 you know, each one of my assignments has, have, has, has some sort of, uh, you know, a turnaround startup flavor to it. Uh, and and um, I, I, I guess, you know, I guess uh, a theme would be, you know, travel is opportunity, right? Again, I'm so I don't know who said that, but I, I'm certain it's not, not my it's not my coat um, because I used to see it on Steve Roth's table, so there was a little plaque he had. Travel is opportunity, uh, so I would sort of sit back and say, you know, one is to really believe that travel is opportunity. Two is to be able to, you know, uh, be, be able to build a really good team and to understand the team, uh, understand. You know what what the what the what the combat field looks like. Right? You don't go to war uh, without having a plan. Um, and so, you know, it's 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 your desire to want to uh, you know create a path. Uh, you, you know, and, and to solve problems. Uh, and it's you know, it, and it takes a lot of thought process, and it takes building a team and empowering the team and making sure you have the right team. Uh, making sure you have the right capital structure, but I think fundamentally, uh, you know, uh, you have to have a lot of humility uh, because uh, you know success is not a guarantee, by the way, and you have to deal with the failure. So, and I think a lot of people may not want to deal with the failure, uh, and 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 uh, and, um, and 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 so I think fundamentally, you want to be able to be the person who can really effectuate change in your heart. How much time do you spend each day at the moment on day-to-day -day operations versus uh, thinking long-term strategy? Or do you come into a role like this, you've got your strategy long-term already pretty much set in place, and you've got your vision, and then it's a matter of implementation? Or is the strategy a moving target as you learn more about the situation that you've been thrust into? You actually hit the nail on the head. So there is a there is a short term and a long term. The short term is you know you write the ship because the fundamental part is you got to turn the company and make it profitable, right? So you you write the ship uh, to make it profitable and have a path to profitability. And during that path to profitability, okay, you will discover things, okay, that'll set the long term strategy. Uh, and uh, I can tell you, I've been at WeWork 11 months. Uh, and if you had asked me what my long-term strategy would have been when I took the job 11 months ago, or even six months ago at the end of the summer when we were in the midst of the pandemic and what it is today, it is vastly different. And it was because of my learnings, uh, you know, and seeing what the, what the, what the, what, you know, what the potential can be, okay, has I, I've evolved my thinking and it'll continue to evolve. And that's again what I sit back and say, uh, you know, you have to continue to evolve. I mean, as you look at, you know, you look at, you know, Microsoft, right? I mean, you got Satya Nadella who comes in as CEO of a very successful company called Microsoft, uh, and he essentially says, you know, we've been, we've had closed APIs, and I'm going to open it up. I'm going to make it open source, and that was a dramatic shift for someone like, you know, Microsoft, who, who looked at their operating system as like, you know, the the BN of all, and I'm going to pivot to the cloud. Okay, uh, he truly took a company and turned it inside out, uh, and 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 so and he did that by watching it, by by being part of it. You know, he didn't sort of walk in there and have a plan. You know, he he studied it, uh, and and you see that across the board. Uh, and and so effectively, the one thing is, is you know in, in in being a leader is to have flexible thinking. Uh, and being able to take uh, you know advantage of opportunities, uh, like in any industry, 
you know, there is obsolescence and how do you not become obsolete? Uh, look at BlackBerry, look at uh, Nokia, you know, look at AOL. I mean, I'm picking industries that today you would sit back and say are the forefront of what you want to be. And even in those industries, uh, they were dinosaurs. Uh, and how do you not become a dinosaur? So I, I think the fundamentally, you know, you have to make sure that your fundamental business is sound, okay? Uh, and, uh, and, 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 and be able to make it profitable. And if your fundamental business is not sound, then do you take the verb or do you take the brand that you have and be able to pivot the brand in its entirety, which, you know, people have done. Uh, they've she changed who they were in its entirety uh, just because, uh, you know, just because they had a, a brand. Um, but you have to make that assessment. Uh, and they're completely two different challenges. I've never dealt with the latter where you just, uh, you know, focus on the brand and completely evolve your business. I have yep. focused on the fact that, you know, in each case, uh, the, the brand is powerful, but their fundamental basic business could be profitable and then you can pivot. Uh, but I, yep. I do think that this, like, as you said, the strategy comes into play uh, as you uh, as you evolve through uh, the turnaround because you get to see what works and what doesn't work.